Hey everyone, it's been a brutal summer so far here in New York, and if your AC has not been keeping up, you are not alone. This summer we've seen a huge spike in air conditioners failing, from mini splits, to cars, to window ACs, to central air units, you name it, they all kind of have similar problems where they don't cool enough or they just outright fail. But the real question is why. With record-breaking temperatures hitting much of the country, AC systems are running longer and harder than ever before. But for many, that cool air is fading fast. And what is the culprit? Leaks. Yep, refrigerant leaks. If your AC is not cooling properly, it could be leaking refrigerant. And that means more costly repairs for you and even damage to the compressor of the unit itself. In order to properly diagnose the leaks on this unit or your car, window AC, central air, I picked up this top test refrigerant leak detector. And I'm gonna show you how we're gonna use this today on a mini split system, on a central air, on a window AC, and on a car, because I actually did need to use this to help a family member with a leaking AC in their car. So let's come pull the camera in closer and take a look at it. I'm gonna explain how it works, and then we're gonna put it to the test and see if this can save you a whole lot of money. All right, now I've brought the camera in a lot closer so we can take a look at this unit that I bought, and I'm gonna explain how it works. We're gonna do a quick overview, and then I'm gonna show you how you can use this to check all your AC systems to see what might be leaking and potentially save yourself a lot of money. Now I had a family member whose car has air conditioning and it was getting a little bit warmer and not totally as cold as it should be. And so I took an infrared temperature gun and I started to check the temperature coming out of the vents compared to my car, uh, which is a lot newer. And there was a pretty big temperature disparity, although it was still cooler with the AC on than went with it off. So I suspected that there was a leak in the unit and I told him to go to the mechanic. The mechanic took a look at it and basically said it's going to cost $200 to check for the leak by putting dye in the system and checking everything out and then if there was a leak they're going to have to pay even more to fix it. So that's a lot of money personally and I think you'd be better off trying to find the leak yourself and then point it out to the mechanic, save that diagnostic fee and just get it fixed. So I picked this unit up to try to help that family member out. I just want to talk to you a little bit about this. This is the top test uh, this is the RT389, and it's basically an AC refrigerant leak detector. And what I like about it is that it picks up R410A systems, R134A, R22, and many more. It's super compact, sensitive, and easy to use, and even for a beginner, kind of like myself because I'm not a, an AC tech, it's just easy to use. To turn it on, you just press and hold the power button, and you're going to see it starts to go through a series of tests where it's going to you know, check the beep, check the vibrator function, check the lights, check the storage, um, and it's basically just booting up right now and turning on. Let me just pull this into the screen so you can see. So it's just doing a self-test. Now that sound is what you would hear, um, and you would also see the lights flash on the side and you would feel it vibrate if it is detecting a leak. So once it boots up, it's actually really simple to use. You basically take this end, and it's very flexible on a gooseneck uh, cable here, and you're going to take this and you're going to sniff around the AC refrigerant lines on your mini split, on your, you know, near your compressors, your window AC, under the hood of your car. Uh, you could even use this for a refrigerator or a water cooler. Anywhere there's a compressor with refrigerant, uh, you can use this to check if there's a leak. Now you might ask, when you find the leak, what do you do? Well, you've got a few options. If it's a very small leak, like a pinhole leak, there are sealants, but in most cases, you're probably going to want a certified tech to come out and repair or replace the damaged uh, connector, the line, or whatever it is that has failed. So let's take this now and let's go walk around. I'm going to show you on a whole bunch of different applications how you would use this and how you would test for a leak. Now one thing I want to point out before we actually go out there in the field and check everything, the manual is great. It shows you all sorts of functions of the unit of how to use this. Uh, there's basically silent modes, there's storage in here. Uh, but it really is very self-explanatory. While this thing can do a whole bunch, you really just need to turn it on and then start sniffing around, basically. And you're going to see here on the meter, if it detects a refrigerant leak, it's going to go up, it's going to be in red, it's going to alarm. And instead of a nice green flashing light, you're going to get three flashing reds, and it's going to show you the severity of the leak. Uh, this also has a flashlight uh, feature, so if you are you know, using this at night, you can turn the flashlight on, although I don't plan on using this uh, in the evening. So coming back to the manual, uh, the manual is going to kind of show you. These are evaporator coils, and it's going to show you you want to kind of sniff around the coils because you want to sniff where you, wherever there's a joint or wherever you might have a leak. Um, now this is just kind of showing you a general area, 
but you want to sniff around the lines uh, under the hood of your car where the connecting ports are. You want to sniff around where your central AC or mini split system lines go into your house uh, and all that kind of stuff. So let's get out there now and I'm going to show you how to do this. Okay, so I'm kind of going at this one-handed here and I'm taking you into one of our mini split units. This is the outside uh, portion and if you look at it, and they're all going to be very similar, you've got a couple of different lines going into it. You've got this box with a gray line and then you've got this conduit with two lines here. So if you're unfamiliar with an AC system, this gray line is just simply the power. So you don't need to, to worry about that. And in fact, you should stay away from that. These lines that are insulated, these are actually the, uh, the coolant lines, the refrigerant lines. So this system is working perfect, but I want to show you one of the things that you should do with the meter is kind of sniff along these lines, you know, all the way to see if you have a leak anywhere. And if you do have a leak, it is going to start alarming right away. You're going to hear it with the audio, you know, buzzer, and you're going to feel it because it's got a, a vibrate uh, feature as well. And then I'm just coming in here, and I'm kind of just sniffing along where all the connections are to the unit. Again, I'm skipping the electrical. Um, and then if I really suspected a leak, I would probably take this protective cover off because you can actually get to the fittings uh, in there as well. So that's how you would sniff around out here. You can also take the front cover off and get in a little bit closer to the coils. But again, I know this unit does not have a leak because it is working uh, quite well, uh, but that's what you would do. And the refrigerant lines run all along the side of the house. They come out here, they bend over here. Now, anywhere where there's a bend, you could theoretically have, you know, a problem in the flexible line and you may want to take the plastic covering off this conduit again to check. So I'm probably not going to pick up very much here if there was a leak because again I have the cover on here. But I would take this cover off if I had a problem and check it out. Again over here you've got another bend. This is a place where you could potentially have a leak. You may want to just pop this screw and this screw off and just take this off, inspect around the fitting. And then this line goes all the way up again into the top there and I would probably take that cover off and sniff around in there to see if I have a leak as well. Now in here where the mini split is on the inside of the house, I would again, I would pop this cover up and in here you're gonna see the coil. I would take the sniffer and I would kind of sniff in here around where the coil is. I would sniff around the side where the connection comes through the house. Uh, and if I had any issues, it would show up on the screen and I would hear the audible beep and the visual uh, red lights flashing. Okay, so next up I want to talk about the window AC because these are very susceptible to leaks as well. Now while a window AC is a sealed system, what happens is you take this out of the window at the end of the summer, you put it down on the ground pretty hard, maybe you drop it, maybe it gets damaged a little bit in storage, and before you know it some of those sealed fittings have little leaks in them. So there's a few ways you can check this and you need the unit on and running because you want that refrigerant circulating and going through all the lines. Now I'm going to keep it off for the moment just to demonstrate this to you because I don't want the fan noise to kind of interfere with the microphone. But what you would do is you would take the front cover off, move the filter out of the way, and you're doing this because you want to get to the coils here. So with your leak detector on and the unit running, you would come in here and you would sniff around all of these fittings, all of these connectors, and see if you have any leaks here. And this would absolutely pick it up if you did. You can also go in the back now this air conditioner is raised up a few stories, but if this was on the ground or if I had a ladder, I could take the cover off the back very easily and I can go in there again and sniff around the compressor, sniff around the fittings, sniff around you know anything out there that has a refrigerant line in it and this would very easily pick it up. So now that we've checked our AC unit outside, we've checked the window AC, we've checked the mini split on the wall, let's go over and check out a car and then we're going to wrap this up with the central AC unit because there's a lot more fittings on that. But I also want to point out, you can also use this to check the compressor of your refrigerator and all the coolant lines that go around the fridge. So if you pull the fridge in or pull it out from against the wall, on the back you're going to see all the refrigerant lines, you're going to see the coil. If you've got a sub-zero, you usually have a grate above the refrigerator. You can remove that and inside there you've got the condenser, the compressor, all the refrigerant lines. You can literally take this, you know, bend the gooseneck and go in and start sniffing around because if you can find the leak, you are already halfway to solving the problem. Then you can call the tech and say, look, my fridge hasn't been getting cold. It has a leak. I have a leak detector. I found the leak. I know where it is. I need you to come in and repair it and recharge the system. And you're going to save a lot of money because you don't have all those diagnostic fees. And then sometimes you don't have people just throwing parts at it 
guessing. I had a car many years ago. The AC wasn't working. I brought it to the mechanic. Oh, the compressor is bad. They replaced the compressor. It still wasn't working. The compressor wasn't the problem, but I had to pay for that. So this will save you a lot of time, money, and hassle. Okay, so we're out here at the outdoor prepper mobile, and this is the Toyota 4Runner. It's actually a rock solid vehicle, and we'll do a whole video on this and why I really recommend the Toyota 4Runner. But that's not what we're here for. We're here to check for AC leaks. Now, if you're checking the AC leak on a vehicle, same concept with the window AC, with the central air, with the mini split, you want the unit running because you want that refrigerant circulating, you want the AC on, you want to know if there's a leak as the system is running. I have the car off right now because I want you to be able to hear this very easily. And again, I don't have a leak here. But you're going to come into the engine compartment with the car running and the AC on, and you're going to say, well, I don't even know where to begin. Well, I don't even know what the AC is in the car. It's actually very, very simple. Every engine compartment is slightly different, but they're all very similar. You're going to find right here this silver pipe. And one of the easiest ways to find these things is if it's running and it's really hot out and you've still got some refrigerant, these pipes are going to be a little sweaty. And you're going to see where they go through the firewall. Again, it's going to be a little sweaty because theoretically it should be nice and cold and then the humidity is condensing against it. Now right here, we have a little cap that says L. This is the low side uh, pressure port right there. Then there's going to be another one somewhere and you're going to have to find it. Again, every car is different that says H for the high side. Okay, so I found the high side. It's actually under this plastic cowling on my car. And if you look right here, you can see the cap uh, of where it is. So this, on the Toyota, this comes off really easily. You just gotta pop all these little, uh, little tabs out. But I could also take the sniffer and just come right in here and sniff right against that. So these caps are what you're gonna use to adjust the pressure to recharge the system. And oftentimes you're gonna have a leak right at these fittings, right at these joints. So you want to come in here with a sniffer. You want to sniff around all the AC hoses, all the fittings, all the lines, all the bends. You want to sniff in here where it comes through the firewall. Again, all these air conditioning lines, you want to sniff all around. And guaranteed, if you have a leak, you are definitely 100% going to find it with this Top Test AC refrigerant leak detector. Again, this is an AC hose. I'm sniffing all around here, all into here. I would take this. Um, decorative plastic cover off and I would check in there as well. Man, it is a scorcher out here and this really just leads credence to the fact that you need your AC working and you need it right away when it's this hot outside. So this was super easy to use this in a vehicle. It's actually even probably the easiest in a vehicle because you can pop the hood, you can see the lines, you can see the H and the L on those little caps. You can even take the cap off and you could see the actual port that you would connect your uh, refrigerant line up to and you can sniff around in there. Uh, and in a vehicle, like I said, it's super easy to smell around and try to find the leak with this detector. And you're going to save yourself so much money as opposed to going to the mechanic and just saying, it doesn't work. At least you can go there armed with some information. So if they come back and tell you something that sounds a little suspicious, like, oh, there's no leaks, it needs this $3,000 compressor, you could say, wait a minute, there is a leak, I actually found it, and this is where it is. Let's go check out the central air now. Okay, now out here we have two large units that are part of a central air system. And in a central air system, you have the outside units and then you inside, usually in your attic or in a maintenance closet, you have the actual compressor and the coil and, and everything inside. Out here is where the coolant comes out, it goes through the fins, it removes heat, and then it goes back inside. So let me show you how to check for leaks on this. So this is where all the piping comes through the unit. And what we would basically do, again, you want the unit on and you want the refrigerant circulating. But you would come here and you would check all these connectors. You would sniff literally around everything and see if you're detecting a leak because this is where you're going to find a leak nine out of 10 times. Now you might also find it in the attic, in the service closet, um, but mostly it's going to be out here. I'm going to post a still image in the attic because where mine is located, it's a little too difficult to get up there. Uh, but I'm going to post a still image of what you should be looking for in the attic, in your service closet but it's gonna kind of be what you saw in the manual, which are those little coils, and that's where you're gonna to wanna to sniff around. Guys, I really hope this video was helpful, and I hope that this unit, the Top Test RT389, can save you a lot of money. I picked this up on Amazon. It was a little over $100. I'm gonna post the link, but you know what? This is money well spent, because this one-time cost of this is gonna save me when my car AC has a leak, my window AC, my central air, my mini split, my refrigerator, my water cooler, this is, this is gonna help you with all of those leaks. So do me a favor, if this was helpful, 
you could like and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. And I actually picked up another top test meter because I really like this brand and it's their decibel meter and I'm gonna be using that in my generator videos so we can get a more accurate gauge of the sound. Again, thanks for watching, like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.